All right, my friends, training vlog. Today is gonna to be basically a pull and a press day. Day one of uh, my second block, I'm deeming the beast program. Uh, for me specifically, I'm trying to increase my deadlift and my overhead press and just get overall as strong as I can. I'm about 12 weeks out from testing, so all my variations uh, in the deadlift actually really haven't been uh, conventional deadlift. So I've been either using bands, uh, tempo, pauses, chains, deficits, and not actually doing conventional deadlifts, but that will change next block. So for today, we have a deficit, a small deficit, uh, about three quarters of an inch, and then it's a pause mid shin for one count. And we have five at six, five at seven, two sets of five at RP eight. Uh, and I'll talk more about it as we get into it. Uh, and then from there goes the push press. And I'm trying something different, where I'm trying to use pull-ups uh, as a back accessory. And then I'm gonna throw in a little bit of shoulder work. So each block prior to this had a lot more volume and a lot more movements. But as we get closer to testing, we are reducing the volume and reducing the amount of movements, uh, getting way more specific to what actually needs to be tested. So that's what's on tap. All right, that, that set was a little bit too on my toes. I haven't really been using my lifters when doing push press, so switched it up and threw them on today. So just not being used to wearing Olympic lifting shoes, I felt like uh, my bar path was a little bit off when I was on my dip. So just be conscious and aware when you're doing push presses to keep a consistent bar path and make sure that the weight distribution is even in the feet because that can really mess up your press as you're going through it.
So DK has a slightly wider grip than me, but he's also uh, six foot four. I'm six foot two. He's about 300 pounds. I'm about 270. His grips can be a little bit wider, uh, and he seems to be the strongest there. I tend to be mostly the strongest with a more narrow grip. Uh, so I like to utilize my triceps and keep my upper body nice and tight with that close uh, grip press. So the pros of going a little wider, shorter range of motion, uh, a little bit more shoulders than triceps, but play around with it, see what works best for you, trial and error. One time out. Nice, better. <laughs> Bouncy boys. Yeah, I got a question. So when you feel like you get off groove with a rep, like what do you think that causes that? And then what's your next thought like trying to correct it? I think with me, what causes me to get off groove is it's like trying to ride it out of the hole. Yeah. Instead of like getting the hole and catching it. That's what always causes me to get off groove. And uh, typically to fix it, I'll just reset, catch my breath, yeah. brace again, and then go from a straight start. All right, guys, so on top of the training footage, I want to give you guys a tip. So one of the, the common errors I see when people are doing push presses is they let the bar pull them forward when they go to dip, okay? So as we dip, if the bar gets pulled forward with our knees sliding forward, we're actually gonna press out in front of us, okay, instead of straight up. And anytime we press out in front, away from center mass, it's gonna make it harder and less efficient. So when you guys are dipping and you have that bar, okay, it's okay to take a breath and get set just to make sure that you're clearing up uh, you know, any technical errors that you have to do before you make that press. Because if you rush into it, we see it all the time. People are just trying to bounce out of the bottom. It's almost like a touch and go deadlift and why I'm not a huge fan of touch and go deadlifts because it just affects bar path. So take that second, okay, get set, make sure your elbows are up a little bit higher. That bar is gonna sit right on top of those collarbones. And as we dip, we're taking our knees and driving them out and down rather than down and forward, okay? So I'm just gonna show you with the bar real quick. This would probably be a better angle. So as you can see, the bar is just gonna sit right over top of my collarbones. I don't have the greatest mobility, so this is gonna be the best I can do right now. But as I dip, my knees are gonna go out, show my knees on it. They go out and down, okay? And then we're gonna snap and drive up rather than forward, okay? Because if I were to come forward and go to press, that bar is probably gonna press forward rather than we go out. And then I can press straight up and get my head through, okay? So if you guys are having issues pressing the bar out in front of your face, Tuck that chin back, make sure it's resting right over top of your collarbone. Dip the knees out, squeeze, drive straight up, head goes through as you're pressing. God damn. Just cross you on the head you there. Your that was a good dismount. Taylor, you got any uh, pressing tips for us today? Uh, mainly I've been trying to just work on rhythm through the lockout, so rhythm, doing huh? some banded. Process, yeah, like bar path and just stay braced. Kind of what DK was saying too about staying balanced. So, on my push press days, staying locked in bar close to my collarbone, balance on my feet, and press straight through the bar instead of trying to dip forward, get forward on my toes, and then try to use that power to push the bar up, just straight line through the bar. All right, so the uh, push press rep scheme was uh, eight at six, eight at seven, two sets of eight at RPE eight. Uh, kind of holding back a little bit this week as I want to push uh, the intensity each week. So I ended at 265 for two sets of eight. Felt really good uh, besides some of the little technical flaws that I made, uh, but I definitely think in the next couple weeks, uh, I'll be able to get around probably a 300 uh, pound push press for Hopefully a set of eight, that would be really cool. Uh, so we'll see how it goes week by week. Uh, then after that, just had two accessory movements, uh, which was gonna be some neutral grip pull-ups. I have a slight little lat tweak that I've been dealing with, and the neutral grip is a lot better for my lat than doing a typical uh, regular pull-up grip. Uh, so just rolling with those and using a band to get more reps. So rep scheme trying to get uh, anywhere from 12, 15 uh, pull-ups, nice and controlled, 
really feeling the contraction of the lap, and then supersetting with some cable uh, rear delt flies. So two main movements and then two accessory movements. Session's about an hour and 45 minutes, all said and done, uh, which is fine for me. You know, I prioritize my training and have a good amount of time. Uh, if that's too long for you, you can cut out some of the accessory volume and also make your warm up a little bit shorter. Typically, uh, if you've been watching my deadlift warm up video, which I'll put up here, I've been having a little bit longer warm up just to prime my body more for the deadlifts. And it's worked for me. So if you find that you're feeling a little stiff uh, and just getting to the barbell is it maybe something you enjoy or you want to switch it up uh, try this warm-up out i used to just use the barbell to warm up for years and it's always good to try something different change it up for a change of pace sometimes it keeps you a little bit more interested in training as well more motivated to train so that is pretty much it for today i'll try to get out every uh day of training this week for this program so you can see what we're doing and maybe i'll do a limited uh release of the program for you guys to purchase uh, i'll be probably uh, 12 or 16 week programming block uh, that is going to be specific to the press and the deadlift that I'm personally running. So you can give it a shot to see what Coach Joe actually does and how that would work for you and just something fun. So make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, go over to Facebook, the Iron Lions Facebook group, private Facebook group, awesome strength community, uh, just free totally where we put articles, form checks, all sorts of good stuff. Uh, so go over there and also check out uh, the website zastrength.net for more articles, uh, programming, all that stuff. We really appreciate it, especially during these times. So stay lean, mean, strength machine. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.